Now, over the past few months, or really over the past two years, there hasn't been a whole lot of positive Superman news, right? It's kind of been blow after blow after blow. But today, we got some Superman news that is actually good news. It's news that makes sense. It's news that Warner Brothers should have already known. But they can be stupid from time to time. So, without further ado, the news that we got is that Warner Brothers is no longer going to move forward with the Supergirl movie. God damn it, if that don't make sense, Warner Brothers, today is a victory. What's good, gang? Y'all know what it is, so check it, right? So let's talk about your boy Superman, a.k.a. Kal-El, a.k.a. Clark Kent. Let's chop it up. Now, we know that ever since the beginning portions of last year, there was a rumor that came from out of nowhere. Really, this rumor dates back to late 2018, where they wanted to do a super girl movie i was like why why are y'all doing a supergirl movie when you've only had one superman movie in the dceu that makes no sense it felt like warner brothers was really grasping at straws and they were they were just throwing shit at the wall seeing what sticks this was warner brothers during that period where they were trying to put another powerful female superhero on screen besides just Wonder Woman. And they thought, hey, let's do Supergirl, which was stupid because like I said, Henry Cavill only had one movie. There's a successful Supergirl show on the CW that some seasons can be hit or miss. And just in general, why wouldn't you want to establish Kal-El first and his adventures and then bring her in. So of course, over the, the course of 2018 and 2019, nothing happened. It was all rumors and speculation, fan casting, etc. Now they're saying that they're not going to do it. You smart. You very smart. Took y'all too long to make that public decision, but it's a good decision. Now, there's still some funkiness going on because Henry Cavill wants to come back to play Superman. I'm down for that. But at the same time, you have an issue where we don't know if Warner Brothers wants him back. We don't know if they've asked for him to come back. Because Warner Brothers is a very interesting company. Which, by the way, DC needs its own fucking studio. I'm tired of Warner Brothers. But that's for another video. And that whole situation with Henry Cavill right now is just weird. But it gets weirder when you hear that Michael B. Jordan has pitched his idea of a Superman movie to WB. The problem I have with that is that I hope it's Calvin Ellis. Now, for those of you who don't know who Calvin Ellis is, Calvin Ellis is the Superman from Earth 32, I believe. And on that planet, Calvin Ellis is black, and he's also the president, and he's Superman, which is a very interesting story. And if Michael B. Jordan is gonna play Superman, Make it Calvin Ellis. He shouldn't be Kal-El. You already have a black Superman in the DC Comics universe. Just make him Calvin Ellis. I mean, damn WB. People on YouTube, us YouTubers be giving y'all good ass ideas. 
And y'all just, nope, Supergirl movie, Zantana movie, Cyborg movie, because we all want to see that. I mean, come on, man. It's right there in front of you. The decision not to do a Supergirl movie, I am 100% on board with. Michael B. Jordan as Superman. Make it Calvin Ellis, and I'm okay. And bring back Henry Cavill. I mean, shit. Let Flashpoint reset this fucking universe and bring Henry Cavill back. You already had his suit in Shazam, so ain't no running from it. And I don't want to see no recasts, because recasts are cringy as shit when it comes to a cinematic universe continuing. I don't like that shit. Now, it's been weird, but it's been real. You made the right decision, WB. Now, watch these motherfuckers make a bad decision tomorrow on shit and announce a goddamn Miss Martian series. Y'all stupid. Don't nobody want to see that. Get out of here, bitch. Oh,